Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte's adventure in Star Maid. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, let's take a little tour here. Don't mind the power plant here. So right here we have, if you look above, there's the displays there. I'm just going to put it into first person here. Okay, so we have the displays here. And uh, so now it tells you what asteroid they are and what materials are found inside the asteroid. Now I know there's a way of increasing the font size. I'm just not sure exactly what that is. I know you can do, um, let's see here for a second. Tab G, ah, that's why, haha. <laughs> so see, you can do this. And when you click on this button, it goes uh, format, right? So you can use different styles, but I tried uh, see oh, okay zero one and two interesting so I guess this is very limited oh well so I tried using those and it didn't really get that much bigger so it didn't really help so anyways back onto the tour here I finished off these guys oh almost fell in there we've got uh, all this stuff with the materials and <laughs> with the materials displayed just for you're kind of like a museum you know, so hopefully uh, the Jace machine will get the idea for this. Um, in here is going to be the factory on this side, on the left hand side. Kind of working it out. So right now I'm just using this as the factory. And if you'll notice, look, why did it drop down to one? Well, I have this auto pulling everything. So into here, so that way I can kind of just walk away and it will use up the materials and because they're linked, because you don't get to see the lines, this will work actually quite nicely. So if I go into connection mode, you'll see that it's connected to that. So the plan is, is whatever the factory is and however it's it's going to be set up, it's, it's going to be connected to every single one of these boxes of materials because I want to have all my materials kind of organized and that's kind of how I'm doing that uh, so we got that there uh, let's see here let's go into here okay um, yeah and so I kind of worked on this area here I closed it off down here I think let's take a look over here yeah I closed it off down here it was open but I figured to seal it because I don't know if I want to have windows or not, so with that in mind, I actually have to go the long way now? Crap, I'm going to have to create another way down. I'm going to have to create that elevator. You know, Jace Machine beat me to it. <laughs> but that's okay, mine will be different. That is very okay. Because that's the cool thing about Star Maid, is one's elevator is different from another one's elevator. Um, he also kind of did a cool thing. He he mentioned me on one of his videos, which is pretty cool. It's cool to be able to be recognized for something. But this game is just amazing. No matter how crappy my stuff may look, it just looks like crap. Ah! <laughs> uh, but that's okay. I plan to make this look a lot better. I have an idea of how to redesign this ship. And make it e um, even more compact. Uh, just because from playing around with it, experimenting. I also added in a missile and a cannon computer in there because um, I was playing around with that stuff too. So let's go to the back side here. Uh, let's take a look down here. I don't know what to call this episode. You're listening to this which is funny so you already know the name of the episode but I won't. Uh, let's see if this still works. Bang. Oh man this is so cool. <laughs> Oh, you don't understand. So we need to create the power um, chamber in there, but but I think I need materials. So with that in mind, we're going to build the factory, I think. And with the, what does that mean? Well, there's a few components with the factory. Ah, oh, come on, buddy. Ah, there's a few components with the factory that you can put together. Um, I think they're like uh, efficiency modules or let's see if we can find them in here. I think they will be in here. Change production. Okay. So now let's scroll through all this stuff here. 
Bill Block Cloaker, EMP Explosive Effect. Oh, okay, it's these effect modules. Okay. Sorry, I'm just thinking there's the missiles I want to turn into Yohomi missiles. So that way, when I fire them, they'll latch on to the enemy. So, for that, I think you have to use one of these, but I'm not sure which ones it is. Push effect. And I might have passed by over what I needed to. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. What do I need? Um, oh, great. Let's see here. I'm just kind of looking through this stuff. It's been a while since I've looked through this, and I don't see... Maybe it's in the standard one. Okay. The re you know, the add-on to the factory. Uh, change production. Advanced factory. No, that's we have that. Okay. This might be it. Let's see here. Camera. Actually, that'd be a neat thing to try. We need to try that with the camera. If you're in the build block, if you can switch between the cameras in the uh, base. But maybe that's not necessary. Uh, let's see, damage beam, damage pulse. These will be disappearing, the docking modules and stuff, because you know this is just in there for the old ships so people get a chance to to change their ships here is factory enhancer okay so what's this take this takes alloy metal mesh and crystal composite okay that's sweet so let's connect that let's see here C with this one up here V so what that one up there is this is where I store all my materials so yeah that's pretty cool there and basically yeah, and what that thing does too is we have a refinery thing here. And so when this processes materials, what this does is this is connected to this one. So which means the auto pull. I also have, uh, what's it, change items to auto pull. See, you can actually specify what items for it to pull on the amount you want. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What else? What else? What else did I do? I kind of played with that stuff on my own just to see what what it's about, and I think I kind of figured it out. It kind of gave me an idea of what I was going to do because I was thinking, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with this new factory layout? You know, I want to kind of walk out here, and I want I want this to be kind of clear. So maybe clear glass will go here, and I want you to be able to look inside and see the factories kind of like lined up. Because I want to make all different kinds of materials. I want to make all the different materials that you can see in this whole thing. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm not sure how if I'm going to create a factory for every item. That's way too much. In the space station, I'm going to do that. I'll create a factory for every single item. All right. So that way it's always on demand and always being crafted um, from my harvesting runs and and whatever else and and by that point it'll probably be a faction so hopefully uh, you know, there'll be others to help <laughs> collect materials and whatnot I'll have a shop set up there so it's kinda like the plan is to build a big base but this is more just my launch off point you know to be able to get materials running so I think what we'll do in this base is create like the hulls so maybe we'll need to make just like a factory for the one two three I'm just I'm just counting the different colors three three four five six <laughs> six uh, maybe one for the no nah, we don't need the crystals six uh, six seven Eight, nine, ten. Okay, eleven. So that's what it is. So eleven. So maybe we'll have twelve factories, twelve sets of factories. One for general items for whatever you can change. So maybe that one will be accessible. 
So that if we, I thought actually uh, that's giving me an idea right now. So let's pick this guy up. Okay, so maybe right in the wall here. This is where we'll have kind of like the general factories. So, so we'll have you know, the regular one. We'll have the, this guy. Let's pick this guy up too. Let's pick this guy up too. Okay, so right here in the wall, maybe one, two, three, because this is just where we enter in, right? And so maybe right here beside these lights, and what these lights signify is the the start of the wall I can do for that chamber. So that's like the corner. So from here down this way, we can you create our chamber however big we want. It's going to be underneath the grass. So yeah. So anyways. This is kind of what I was thinking, is just kind of to put the basic factory kind of like here, and then put your standard factory just here, and then your advanced one right here. Okay? And so this way then if you need to craft any kind of basic items kind of on demand, you can uh, deactivate production. You can totally do that. I'm not... Oh, hey. Well, that's cool. So we can actually switch to the different containers if we name these containers. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, for example, uh, um, wall basic wall basic. So we know that it's the wall factory, and it's the basic one. And this one we can deactivate we can set this name to wall standard so stand or st d standard wall standard so i guess they can be short and then wall advanced uh, deactivate set inventory name wall advanced Okay, if you haven't grabbed your tasty treats or anything like that yet, I suggest you do because what I'm going to do is I'm going to think I'm going to go into the. I think I'm going to bring the build block in here, but I think we're going to clear out the chamber there. I think we're just, we're just going to clear it out maybe three high and see what we got to work with, or what we got, what we have to work with. I should say have instead of got. I don't know why I say that a lot. Maybe just because my intelligence is so, so sucked dry from people watching TV. <laughs> or maybe the people I work with at work, maybe they just suck my brain. Oh well, all good. So let's see here. Man, maybe I'll do kind of like a sped up footage here. So let's, let's deactivate this stuff. Let's take that. Okay, let's actually just pick this stuff up. Um, yeah, we can deactivate production. So that works really good. Looks like we only need one of these guys. Maybe we'll just put it in the corner here. Maybe this is the only one we need, the capsule refinery. I don't know. The build block, I'm not sure where I want to put that though. Because it's going to move anyways. So let's put it right here, I guess. Okay, that will work. And then what we can do is we can put. Do we put a second basic factory there? No, we're going to put the this guy, the capsule refinery. There's also the micro assembler that might go over in the corner here, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that. So actually, let's put the capsule guy right here. Okay, cool. And so what will happen is this guy will be connected to this guy. Right, and the auto pull is still the same, so good. So basically now we have that that's going to pull into here. And now these guys, these guys. I'm just thinking, just thinking guys, because just thinking how we're gonna do this because I want to create the room so yeah okay so I tell you what we're gonna cut to me 
creating that room there so yeah so I shall see you throughout the footage so time to grab your snacks or your tasty treats and uh, yeah, this might be long so uh, I'll see you on the other Okay, so we're back. So what happened here? Well, we opened up that chamber, <laughs> which I'll have to fill in with rock, which we got plenty of rocks with. But yeah, this is kind of the start of the factory here. Um, I'm probably going to finish the rest of this off camera because I don't know. I don't want this episode to be too long, and I kind of need to think. I need to try some style ideas first, and then I'll I'll build it on camera with all of you, just so that we we definitely you can take a look at that. But yeah, but hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little insight to how things are done. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to make. Actually, you know what? Let's do it right now. Let's make those factory thingies, which are going to be in here, I think. Factory enhancers. Crystal and alloy mill mesh. Okay. So now, let's connect this guy with that one. And let's build uh, about 10 of these guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a whole bunch of these guys. And what the plan is going to be is we're going to enhance the factories that are, are making the hulls. And I want it kind of walkable in the area there too. So that way we can kind of you go and grab you, uh, what we need from there. And yeah, I go from there. Um, okay, what do we mean by that? Well... I want to be able to run in and change the production, right? So if the production is going to be hulls, it'll be hulls. And then maybe I can change the production to be paint, or maybe I can change the production to be kind of the other type of items in here that we can do, right? And so we can build all the different items, but still have a good efficiency. So I think the standard row of 12 will work perfectly so that means I need 120 of those guys and yeah so I'm gonna line up all the factories here all the different kinds with their enhancers and go from there we'll have to experiment with these guys so let's grab this one here okay let's deactivate so we got 15 factory enhancers right we got a basic factory so let's let's just mess with it right here on the floor okay so Let's go into the build block. That's probably the best way to do it. Okay, let's see here. So let's get out of the remove mode. Let's get rid of 
Okay. So let's place the factory. So for example, we'll left click it there. What happens if we select it? Now, what happens if we start placing these? Two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put five on there. Now, can I... See, this is not functioning at the moment. No, let's see right here. So if I go... I'm just trying to think here. Just trying to think. I want to compare. So I, I want to build deactive production. So what do we want to produce? Let's just produce. Do, 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 do. Let's see what we're going to do. Because I want to test this out. Uh, decorative panel, decorative pipes. We might want to put this kind of stuff inside too. We'll have to take a look at that. Uh, let's see here. What can I build? I need these grills, these metal grills. We need a lot of these guys. So this just needs alloy metal mesh, right? So if we combine then this guy with this one, and then let's let's do that. Let's, okay, so let's activate production. So you, normally it produces one at a time. Oh, so probably one for the factory plus five. So now it's doing six. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. The next experiment would be to, can I combine these types of enhancers? Let's see, there's a power consumption, right? So if you look at power, and then we earn 2,000 a second. I guess we just need more capacitors. I'm just looking at the little kind of read on the left there. So can we combine, say, so let's build, say, the next factory up, right? Um, standard factory, I think is what it's called. Yeah, standard factory. Ah, that's fine. If it makes six, it makes six. Oh, there we go. Standard factories. Whew. Okay, and then if we... Let's see here. Just thinking how I'm going to display these guys. That's all. Now, okay, so let's put this guy on the top here. So now we know that these are connected, right? Well, can we connect... Ah, look at that. Okay. So only one block. Okay. So then we need to create another set of enhancers here and then attach it. Okay. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. So that's how we're going to do it. So I need to create a whole hell a lot of these factory enhancers, starting with these guys here. So I'm probably going to build them in behind. I'm going to hide them uh, for now. And otherwise... Yeah, okay, cool. So this is the factory stuff. So when you come back to this, hopefully the factory will be more complete. And yeah, and I think we I can build that off camera now after playing with this. And, you know, hopefully this episode is long enough. And, oh, well, if not, I'm still getting the hang of things. Uh, Starmade is definitely a, f a fun game, and it can be very, very complex. Oof, I'm excited. I'm excited to learn more. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you've had a good time, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.